Hi everyone, it's Rebecca with LincolnLewisCounty.com and on today's episode of Hear All About It, we have Josh Fitzgerald from Lake Effect Tech. Welcome Josh. Thanks Thank for you. stopping in. Yeah. Um, you're here to talk about a couple of uh, things that are going on um, with your business kind of on your philanthropy mm -hmm. um, end of it. Um, so why don't we go ahead and get started talking about uh, what's going on. Yeah, anyone familiar with Lake Effect Tech knows that we tend to try to give back to the community. Mm -hmm as direct as possible, as grassroots as possible, and we've done that over the years. Um, and one of our biggest draws was our backpack drive mm -hmm. annually. Uh, heading into this year, we kind of got some information coming down the pipe from the schools that um, half of our backpack program was the supplies. We would pack the bags right full, and this mm -hmm. year the schools, for the most part, we're gonna be running the supply runs this year. So they're gonna be distributing to the students already. So we wanted to be proactive on that mm -hmm. and we didn't want to just pull the backpack drive and we wanted to try to evolve from just having the distribution day and what we were going to do. So what we came up with is we're still going to hand out backpacks. Okay. Um, we have two weekends because now we have two locations. Yes. Um, and we've added to it and we've changed it a little bit. So instead of just being a direct distribution for backpacks, we've now evolved that into um, a scholarship fund. Uh, and that's gonna start with this event. This will be the first event going through the school year and then starting distribution for scholarships okay. heading into next, next so school season. So these scholarships, um, they'll be available next year? Correct. At this yeah, time. we're starting fundraising mm -hmm. from inception yep. now, yep. Uh, coming up on the 20th. That'll right. be our first fundraiser for it. And the scholarship isn't just for one student? No, it's gonna be for one senior for the area high schools, six in total. Okay. So geographically from north to south, you'd be going Harrisville Central, probably Copenhagen, mm -hmm. Beaver River, Lowellville, South Lewis. And then because we do have our Boonville location, we made sure that we added on Adirondack as, okay. as well. Yeah. What are, um, uh, so th the scholarship program, um, obviously there's an application process. Yep. Um, and the students we were talking would go directly to either one of your locations? Yeah, you, you can come in in person and mm -hmm. apply for it. It's a very simple application, uh, just basic information. And then we're looking for students who show a, a, a dedication to uh, their community, because mm -hmm. that's big for us with yep. our business. Uh, also clearly good with their grades and then as well as a dedication to you know family friends and then community sure. service so sure um, and then we take those applicants in at, at any point in time now okay. moving forward for and in addition to the scholarship program you're also um, reaching out or looking for um, monthly um, uh, Oh, for to, like an internship. Yeah, yes. yeah. So another part of this fund was uh, we wanted to have a more direct feel and interaction with uh, area youth that was looking to either get into a trade mm -hmm. or maybe college. They weren't really sure if they wanted to go to college. Okay. And maybe they wanted more of a, um, a small business experience sure. right up front. So there's really something for everybody. The, the scholarship is more so geared toward that student looking to go on to a four-year education, but you're still looking out for that other student. Who may not just be undecided at the time sure. or may just want to see what it's like to have a smaller business in the area and what we actually do as a company okay. uh, and what it really takes yeah. to run a small business. Quite a bit. <laughs> for me, yes. For me, it's not just fixing broken screens sure. and answering questions about what happened to my emails. Sure. There's a lot that goes into every day, and we'd like to get that exposure out to as many areas right. as possible. That's great. So the first, um, the, the kickoff event for um, funding this program is when and where? It's going to be August 20th. Okay. Uh, between 9 and 3, uh, we're going to have a Chinese auction at the Lowellville VFW. Okay. Up on West, on West State Street. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to also have a chicken barbecue at the same time as our initial fundraiser with the auction. Okay. Uh, typical chicken barbecue times. Okay. Chicken will be ready yeah. about 11-ish. Any pre-orders or? No, just okay. first come, first serve. Yeah. Uh, they'll just be halves of chicken. It okay. won't be a full dinner, just the chicken halves of $8. Okay, uh, that's great And price. the Chinese auction will run the full gamut, so from 9 a.m. till 3. Okay. Uh, at the end, we'll do a live stream, we'll pull. Okay. So everybody, can, you don't have okay. to be present to participate or to win anything. You can, Get your tickets online and we can put them in the in for the items for you okay. or you can come up and actually get them uh tickets are going to be uh, to, a sheet of 25 tickets for ten dollars okay. 
in every sheet you also get a free ticket for all of our door prices okay. that we'll be drawing as well great are you looking for um donations of items for that chinese auction yeah, from uh, yeah regular we, we've citizens had, and yep. businesses we've had some come through already and i always like to point out that this is a great opportunity for other small businesses Absolutely. local craft vendors to get your name out there because there's there is so much of this area that's available that people just don't know unless you know somebody sure so when you have an event like this where everybody can come together for a common cause mm -hmm. it's always a good way and you know that those people are really into giving back to the Absolutely. community to participate in something right. like this so we'd really encourage all those um, other local businesses whether you're a jewelry maker a, a you know tie-dye t-shirts on the list candle making i can think of sure. thousands of um, you know, mom and pop businesses around here that would this would be a great fit for them to donate right. something to that or a lowly computer tech. It, absolutely, right. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. right. Um, now, so at that chicken barbecue, you will be giving out the backpacks that day. Yeah, do you have a set number or how? Yeah, this year with the evolution of it, typically we had people help us. Um, uh, raise funds to get the supplies this year we had one donor come right up front and say oh you know what that's changed we're going to take care of the backpacks for you so we have about 300 backpacks to oh, give away. Great. Uh, and that's a huge thanks to the Salvation Army uh, we've had a, a wonderful relationship with them throughout the years for our backpack mm -hmm. drives and every year they come right forward and they always knock it out of the park every year that's for us. That's great, so. that's great. So when will you be um, doing the Boonville location? Yeah, so that if you miss the event on the 20th, mm -hmm. that weekend here in Lowellville, mm -hmm. again, because we have our second location, it's crazy to think we've already been there a year. You which mentioned is, that, that blew my insane. mind, yeah. And um, we've been welcomed so warmly mm -hmm. in that area, and it's a very underserved area. We're happy to be there. That we're going to do a second event, a second Chinese auction, oh, the next weekend on a Sunday, the 28th, again between nine and three, and that'll be at the Boonville VFW. Okay. Same same rules. Same program. Don't have to be there. Yeah. You can do them online. You can go. Okay. You can check out the items yourself. It's still a sheet of 25 tickets for ten dollars. There'll be door prizes. Okay. So it's going to be fun for everybody. Great. And so, we'll have backpacks there as well. Great. So anyone that wants to contribute to the Chinese auction, I'm assuming mm -hmm. just drop things off at either of your locations. Yeah, they can either uh, call either location. Lowellville, it's three one five five one nine two four four two. Okay. Our Boonville location is three one five nine four one. 4731 or you can just give give me an email I, if that's easier for you it's josh at lakeeffecttech.net okay. and we can make arrangements if Excellent. we have to come pick things up so i'm assuming this is probably going to be the first of several um, events um, fundraisers to get the scholarship up and running the idea is to have an event every month okay to help supplement Great. The fund and then disbursement will start August of next year. Excellent. Yep. And again, we'll just um, reiterate how do the students apply for either the scholarship or the internship? Yep. Well, we're going to have a, uh, a very basic application just for generic information. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to reach out to each applicant and then give them the criteria that we're looking for. Okay. If it's um, you know, transcript mm -hmm. for grades and then if they have community service records or clubs or activities anything that you would have okay. to use for that. Excellent, great. Mm -hmm. And again, let's go over the dates and times yep. of your first fundraiser. Okay, so the initial chicken barbecue and the Chinese auction for Lowellville yes. will be August 20th between nine and three. Chicken will be ready by 11. Chinese auction's there all day. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do a live stream poll on yep. all the prizes after that. And then the next weekend will be Boonville uh, the 28th Sunday, again, 9 to 3 for a, a Chinese auction, mm -hmm. and both will be at each respectful or respective uh, VFW. So yes. 20th will be at Lowell VFW, okay. 28th on a Sunday is the Boonville okay. VFW. Perfect. Well, I think we've covered, covered it all. Anything else you think we forgot that we should mention? No, that's okay. it. I just want to say thank you. It's been a long run, well, and it was bittersweet to put an end to the backpack drive. I know for myself and even Nick back in the day when we started this, mm -hmm. it was one of the best days of the year because you had so many kids that I were so imagine. excited coming through. I can imagine. And we're glad that we could evolve this and move Sure, along. yeah, you're pivoting in a new direction, but yep. still with the, you know, like you said, you, you, you always seem to 
um, you know, you're running your business, you're taking care of yourself and your family, but you're thinking about your community as a whole too. And that's why and, I run business. Yeah. yeah and yeah. everyone appreciates that. It's, it's a great way to live your life and your programs are awesome. Thank you. Um, and we really appreciate you coming in and I'm sure you will have great success on the 20th. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.